My Gavanan Melanine, and well met indeed. I am Araka Galadirathan, the head of the modding team behind Divide and Conquer, and welcome back to Divide and Conquer as we continue on as the Woodland Realm. Now, this video was recorded yesterday, the same day I recorded the Gondor video, so I haven't seen any Gondor comments, if there are any that needed to be replied to, or anything like that. Um, now, with Woodland Realm, we are, I believe, at another end turn, but we'll just double check that we know what we're doing everything. Akhnodion, the last bastion of Dol Guldur on the Western Front. And then we push them out to Dor Norhak, Burr Southis, uh, Rawberg or Dorthalu. Rawberg is that one. Follow me. King Thranduil is heading out to tr kill whoever's in that fort. And that's about it, really. We're going to end the turn. Uh, something else I was going to say about version 1.2. In the Gondor video, I said about how it probably will not come out this side of New Year. It's likely to be the Saturday, this coming Sunday or Monday. Well, another problem that I've just realised is that Total War Center, where everything we do about the mod is based on Total War Center. So if I need to contact any team members, I use T TWC. Uh, it's where we get feedback about the mod. It's where we post ideas. It's where we discuss how ready we are. And Total War Center has been down completely for about two and a half days now. So we're in a little bit of a bind in that at the moment I can't actually check with anyone. So how long that's going to be a problem for, we shall see. But hopefully not too long. Anywho, Legolas and his army of Lothlorien is being attacked by Captain Muzher and Captain Muzlug. Oh, I've pressed the wrong button. There we are. Captain Muzher has got nothing. And Captain Muzlug, those wargs could be a problem. So could the Maulers if they go against the wrong unit. Otherwise, it should be a fairly straightforward Put win. This evil. The enemy is coming from in front of us and to our left. There's uh, Melkor with the Silmaril and his crown. I believe it's Fionor that he fights. I can't quite remember. Either Finrod Felagund or Fionor, I can't recall. Righty-ho, they attacked us so we can safely withdraw. And as they're coming in from the left and in front of us, if we withdraw to this hill, we are facing the right way from the get-go. Three units of those. Defended by those. And we'll put you to ambush. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Speed it up. No, 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 no. And yes. Our allies of Lothlorien. The Lorien Wardens. The Yavanna's Chosen. No, he's cloak looks a bit funny when he looks up. And of course, the Elbereth Guards. The enemy, I assume, is grouping into one. Oh no, because their reinforcements are coming from Mars away. Very well. It'll be an easy victory over the first few that come at us, coming just from there. And then it'll be a slightly longer slog to take down the remaining forces. Wait until you see the next Faction Overview video and you see the new campaign strategy models. Oh, no, they won't be in it yet, actually. Ignore that. Part of the reason because Total War Center's down. Uh, the Elite Dwarf has made some excellent new campaign strategy models for Gondor. Uh, so the same sort of theme. They're those circular cities, but they now use a slightly darker grey texture rather than the bright white and they also just use better textures they no longer look as kind of blurry but they look really good however because total war center is down and has been since i last checked it which was i don't know i don't even know i can't remember a few days ago um i haven't actually got those files yet so they're not in the build that i've been using to do the campaign overviews which is a pain but um not the end of the world i suppose the enemy general abandons his men. Oh, he's off. Um, now I don't really want to use that many more arrows on these. So, we're just going to stop. Yes, they will get some kills on us. Probably maybe one or two absolute max there.
We want to save our arrows for their reinforcements. We're taking a, a sweet time getting here. <laughs> they haven't killed anyone yet. Oh well. We'll leave him to it. Uh, the, other, the new campaign strategy models are going to be, as I've already said, you're going to get new Gondor ones. So Gondor town and castle levels. So the town and the castle levels. Uh, there's going to be a new generic fortress, which will only be used for Fawn Osterine and Dol Amroth, if my last message got through to uh, the Elite Dwarf. So Fawn Ost and Dol Amroth will have unique campaign strategy models that are only used for those two locations. Uh, there's new Arnorian ones, as I've already mentioned, which I added, but they were added from Leo's sub-mod. Uh, so there's new Arnorian campaign strategy models, or essentially Northern Dunedain, sorry. And hopefully as well, the Elite Dwarf is going to shrink those down a bit so that they fit a bit better with the universe we're using. And also, the last one is Bree. I've asked him to make a unique chain for Bree. Uh, because whilst Bree do use the... They share their culture with Rohan, Dale, and Dorwinian. Those are the four Northmen factions now. Bree, Dale, Dorwinian, and Rohan. Bree aren't actually that closely linked. Um, Dorwinian, Dale, and Rohan are all separate stages of one kind of group of people's migration pattern. So they started out as the Kingdom of Rovanian, or the Prince of Palatine of Rovanian, or basically Rovanian. And men of Dorwinian then became Dorwinian. Some men moved north and became Dale. And of course, the bulk of the men of Rovanian moved into the Anduin, where they became the Eored. At which point in time, uh, later on in time, with the oath of uh, Kirian and Eol, they made their way south to Kalanathan, where they then became Rohan. So Dale, Dorwinian and Rohan all have a shared lineage. They all share their ancestry from way back. However, the men of Bree... Um, share their lineage with the Dunlendings, really. The Breelanders and the Dunlendings are actually the same kind of people. Uh, obviously, Dunlendings are a bit more aggressive. But um, that's where their link comes from. And whilst all humans come from one of the, I think, five original houses that, are, that awoke um, at Hildorian, but um, the Breelanders have a lot... I don't have as much in common with the men of Rohan, Dale and Dorwin as they do the Dunlendings. So... To mirror that, I've asked for Bree to have their own unique campaign strategy model, campaign strategy models for their towns. So, as you'll know at the moment, the Bree model that we have in the game it has like that green mossy wall, and uh, it just looks pretty cool. Well, we're going to take that and use that as the base for like all of their town models, so they'll get progressively bigger. The Elite Dwarf is a master with these campaign strategy models, and I, I'm very grateful to him. Uh, and so that Bree are going to get their own little line of, of unique looks. And then Bree itself, he's made it a bit bigger. So he's popped a couple of hills and a few more buildings in the centre. So it just looks pretty good. And it just gives... I like to try and move everything away from the more medieval setting. I know that Middle-earth is based on a medieval time period. And... Um, oh, sorry. I've totally lost my chain of thought there. I know it's based on a medieval time period. And so there's a lot of similarities. But still, you want it to not be purely taken from our medieval setting. Because it's just not really accurate. So, to get more variety and to pull away more from the original Med 2 setting, I think is good. So, as you'll also know, the Northmen standard towns now have their own look. That has been totally made for Dak. And by Northmen towns, I mean, if you're playing as Dale, Dorwinian or Rohan, your campaign strategy models of your towns and castles now looks more kind of fantasy based a little less but not necessarily more fantasy based but it just doesn't look anything like the original from medieval 2 so it's standalone it just gives it a little bit of extra up. right i'm not really sure what's happening here oh they were waiting for them to fire all their arrows <laughs> and now that they have they're running away right well we killed all the wags oh, girth and enter in there there isn't really any point you if lot we continue being defensive. Like this, we will smash the enemy. Oh, there's archers that I didn't... Idiot. Alright, send the Yvanna's Chosen out. Now we have to fight in melee. Go and support the Girthinen. Same with you, gentlemen. Flank around. Flank around. 
I bet the Guath and Enna probably. The sheer numbers that we threw at them. The Behold how our uh, continue, capture as many as you can. It's time to press the attack. Too many are going to get away. We're never going to catch those. Oh, we're never going to catch any of those either. Oh, I don't know. We've got someone over there. Yes. Just capture as many as you can. Oh, that'll have to do. This is a clear we lost 50 victory. and we killed 1,700. <laughs> and if we discount Legolas, who got uh, far and away the most kills, uh, we got joint winners. 202, the Girthin N, and 202, the Woodland Scouts. It was always going to be a victory, wasn't it? If the Angmar campaign is the absolute worst of our campaigns at the moment, and is genuinely under threat of collapsing and failing, then the Woodland Realm campaign is the complete opposite. I'd need to really screw up to lose we this one now. We must these lands. Guard this area. Yeah, uh, we'll sack it. We've kept our back protected as well here, so. Elves. Oh, we just got a. We just got a catapult. Is that? Is that really? What on earth am I going to do with that? Useless. Useless, useless, useless. All right, as we've got a ton of money as well, I'll. Um, <laughs> I think I'll take everything you've got here, and we'll build a little army in Thrandall's halls with the Gol, and we'll send it south. We and get some troops from there too. And we're not actually making that much money; it might bankrupt us. Oh, there's an army outside Austin Gyle. Oh, it's all right. We've got solid defence there. Dol Guldur, what are you building? A barracks. Follow me. Lay it to ruins. Lay it Keep them to balance. ruins. You've got a small army, but nothing really that great. In fact, a terrible army. Let's be honest. Right, Akhenodion has been taken. Yes, my lord. Where are we sending you? My lord. S south. Swiftly, elves. Follow me. Elves. Engage! An average victory. We protect the elven Elves! Ready, elves! Ah, oh, welcome to the family, Caridorond. Elves! Elves! At ease! An alliance is now the doing thine to Lewin. Nobody likes us. Oh, he got the watch hand of Juan. My lord. I'm gonna stick you! Right, meaning that the next place. Burr South, this is the next Dol Guldur threat. So Ach Dor Lingvar is needs to be protected more. I will leave Erumeldir there because Follow me, sire. Uh, it's always good to have someone My in Lord. in Dol Guldur. Conceal our movements. Although we could really do with the army. Elves, elven warriors. Yes, my lord. Concealed by the light of I'll worry about that on the next turn. Um, yeah, so we'll end the turn. Sorry, I'm biting my nails. Terrible. Shouldn't bite nails. Woodland Realm. I wonder when all of these campaigns come to an end. And we changed to this new pattern where we're going to do two campaigns that have two videos each a week. I wonder who will be voted for in the oh, in the grand faction vote. The rings in Khan Doom. Dorling Virgil on Artist Studio. Get a gallery now. Dolgledor are amassing over there. Elves. Right. We'll leave behind the Girthin end because I don't actually really like them. <laughs> Sire. I must confess. For the light. Right, you're all going to head out that way. Oh, the retraining was just a blacksmith. Elves. How much does it not like us? 40%. Oh, it likes us a lot, actually. If we can... If we can build that, we'll be able to train Woodland Scouts straight away. Filled up, its, uh, filled up its roster, shouldn't really do that. 
Oscar Bell, you've got a unit. You guys have got a unit, but I imagine the forces of Dol Guldur are uh, Come, my brothers. Yeah, the army that was outside of Austin Gal, I imagine, is headed south or something. I believe another enter. My lord. Oh, let the done ending see if we you can get shall back listen to your them. proposal, but do not expect much. Yes. I accept this. Well, that seemed fruitful. Oh, you're doing farewell. Nah, you're not doing that well, I suppose, actually, are you? Enid Wythe have got you a bit locked up. Well, let's continue heading yes. that way. As you Go wish. and talk to the men of Enid Wythe. Without question, tomorrow's journey... And another intern. I spoke about everything that's uh, changed modding-wise in the Gondor video and then subsequently at the beginning of this video, so I don't really have too much more modding info for you, I'm afraid. Other than, of course, I suppose to say that to get the warning in there early... Uh, Glad we could reach another proposition for us then. The version 1.2. Oh no! Very well. This version 1.2, which is coming out Good in the next bye. few weeks, ideally at the end of this week, as I spoke about a moment ago. Uh, that will be the last version of Divide and Conquer for a considerable amount of time. So, unless there's any like major bugs that I got wrong or something, obviously then we'll release a quick fix. Elves. But the plan is for that to be the last one for a for a long time. Follow me. We must defend these lands. Set up an ambush. So, do just be aware of that. There is, of course, always potential that it could be the last one, full stop. Certainly, the last one led by myself. Swiftly. But we won't know about that. For some time yet. Alright, I'll take all three of you. Onward. You've got a new unit coming anyway, so... Probably shouldn't have done that. It looks like that dwarven diplomat's trying to bribe us. I think we're going to start losing money when I pull this army out. Um, it's going to just head out into the gloom to try and find somewhere in Dol Guldur that we can attack. Well, actually, we haven't really got an army down here, have we? Legolas' army is about all we've got. And I'm heading that way to combine with King Thranduil, but it's not going to do too much. So this army is going to be our army, really. Oh, there goes our diplomat. Kingdom of Gondor. I'm absolutely amazed at how... Um, popular the faction overview the videos are. To the, the Gondor one, which went up about a week ago, has 9,000 views. Which is Entering. amazing, considering that the Gondor faction overview video for 1.2 is basically identical to the original yes, one. My lord. It's just, I find it amazing. Yes, stopping here. Oh, Thunder's always got a barracks. Ah, oh, cool. Train all of those and they'll be your garrison. Right, the fastest way south isn't actually through the woods. Have we got military access? Yes. Elves, swiftly! Forma, onward! We join in arms! Oh, good lord, we can build a lot here, can't we? An army barracks. Again, I've queued up buildings. Really shouldn't do that. Oh, that's not... That's not worth it. Certainly up here in the north, anyway. Thrandall's Halls will be able to build enough to I'm gonna cover pretty much everything. Me. Um, Come, L, Legolas. Like the wind. You go south and defend Come, there. My brothers. Over here, you head up to Dor Lingva, Thrandall, you come back. Like the wind. At ease. I'll take those my and I'll Lord. take those off your hands. Elves. Come on! In fact, I could take Stay him as well, let's be honest. Ready, elves. Stay in the trees. Elves. And the army is making its way south. Follow me. First stop, Rawberg. If 
Dale haven't already taken it. No, I don't think they have. All right, and Legolas is heading down there to try and get that, but I don't think he'll get there in time. Yes, my lord. Uh, the Dole Amroth video as well. I mean, even though I put it up on Christmas Day, obviously I recorded it the week before, but I put it up on Christmas Day, and it and it got by the end of Christmas Day, it had like two and a half thousand views. That's outrageous. Also, because two and a half thousand people watched a video on Christmas Day. I suppose that's not that surprising. There are billions of people in the world. Not everyone has the same type of Christmas. Set up an ambush. Rubbish. Oh. No! Sauron! Come, my brothers! Oh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Do, 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 do we try and hold all the door? Do we not? Yeah, I suppose we might as well. By the light of um, we've got that army coming, so... Come, my brothers. You pull into there. By the light of Elbereth. Take yes, those three with Onward. you. Kredorond and your Lorien garrison return to Dol Guldur. Come, my brothers. Engage. How is that a clear defeat? Oh, There's still on. time to save our people. Have a taste of my blade. I should have fought that. That was silly. We don't have an army left. How they haven't just taken that? I don't know. Oh, that was silly. I should have attacked them. I should have fought that normally. But it doesn't really matter. Aknodion is not really important. Do we want to go all the way to Ilanin? That's so far out. So far out. But then if we don't take Ilanin, there's no guarantee. But then if we do take Ilanin, or Ilanin, Ilanin, whatever we want to call it, then we're right on the door of um, the forces of Rune. And they'll be knocking anytime soon, I'm sure. Oh, well, we're safe in the north. What does it matter? Also, I might do a little bit of tinkering. Ah, Dol Guldur. How many people have you got? 15,765. Add population. Dol Guldur. Minus a thousand. Add population. Spelt that wrong. Erun Tholon. 1,000. Here we are. Now, I've done that one a few times before, but I should probably explain it again. I've never really considered doing that particularly cheating because I've taken the population away. There you go. They lose 1,000 from Dol Guldur and just sent them north. It's kind of like population rehousing. <laughs> uh, although I'm sure there are many that would consider it cheating and would bite my head off for doing such a heinous crime. Right. End the turn again. They took Akhnarion. No surprise. There was no defenders left. Our diplomat's getting trapped in Eriador somewhere. That is not. Shadow of Mordor. Now, Dolgador are sending a lot from Dor Norhak, aren't they? Well, not really, I suppose. How many do we think those two armies there combined to make? Maybe seven units? My lord. It's not that many, really. Without is it? question. Oh, for God's sake. Wish. I'll just sit there. Yes. Dwinberg built an archery range. Surely you've got enough to have two people. One free upkeep from there, and two from there. Oh, yeah, like you can have full, a ret full little complement. Dorlingvar built its art gallery. Approaching quietly. Yes, my lord. We will need that one. Form up. My lord. You head out there. You go to the second I town. I shall continue tomorrow. Sire, over here, elves. Commander Rand is in there. And he can train those. What's the upkeep in here going to be like? Three free from that. And four from that. So seven altogether. One, two, three, four, five. As soon as it becomes enough elven... Then the rest will add to that. But. Elves. Um. Onward. You will ruin these trees no longer. We will need that one. Build some towers or something. The final faction now at war with each other. Run, rune, and us. 
Rune and Kazadum, and Harad and Kazadum have declared a truce. Interesting. The real interesting thing here is our army heading south. Scout the area. That's about all we can do again. I wonder who'll be the first to arrive at Dol Guldur. Probably Dol Guldur. Oh, I don't know. They, they might not have. No, they've got to have a general left, or they wouldn't be. They wouldn't be alive. Mordor always join invasions. They've always got enough generals to do it, so it's not a problem for them. Um, Harad tend to always join an invasion because they always have a surplus of generals. Um, the ones that I think don't often are uh, Rune rarely join invasions, in my opinion. Uh, Canned as well, actually. I don't think do. Because despite having quite a few generals, they, don't, they just don't tend to use them for that kind of thing, so... Oh, we are losing money. Oh, and we're letting Dol Guldur just run around in here. I'm gonna stick you. I'll tell you what, actually. My lord. Yes, my lord. Swiftly, swiftly. Take the cavalry and go on, go on a little raid. My lord. Oh God, there's. Oh my word. Approaching quietly. Oh, this army can't come soon enough. Oh, you know why it's going so slowly, don't you? Because it's got the bloody siege equipment. Over here, elves. Take away the siege equipment. And they get oh it's barely that much further it's barely it's right I can live with that by the light of Elberth like the wind we will need that one if we get him in there then this the gives us some lands. more money again Claim it for 240 the money's back oh they'll soon get all their free upkeep that'll see us earning money as well uh, the army there is quite good, uh, th th thanks to Thranduil, I suppose. But the army in Dol Guldur is also good. We get a garrison in Dol Guldur as well, remember, so... It, um, if it does get attacked and invaded, we'll at least get a garrison. Uh, I think this turn is going to be the last one, because the next turn is going to be defending... Uh, we can call this one Invasion Called, I suppose. The next one is going to be defending Dol Guldur, almost certainly. The invading armies will be arriving in the next few turns. So, we'll have them to deal with. No attacks yet. Ah, oh, Erinthalan got its town. Yay! Yay! Now, what we need here, in order to get our free upkeep, is a town guard and a hall of song I'll do it the other way around oh we are just about making money yes my lord my lord Approach ah the Dol Guldur faction leader is the third and final Nazgul Elves. at Dunafell Onward. oh they're really holding Burralge aren't they speak to our sire scout the area stay alert and Rune have joined the invasion after all that. Dolgador appear to be preparing to attack Lorien. There's been a few changes to the Elf campaign strategy models as well. Karas Galathon is no longer just a tall trees. It now is like a city with massive trees in the middle. Unique looking. And Lothlorien now share the same elven model that the rest of them do. Except when Lothlorien build a large city, the final tier of the town level, instead of having green trees, it will then have Malorn trees, which is just a nice little nod. Because it is kind of going on the basis that if Lothlorien were to expand and actually become like something of an empire, then they might start planting some of their famous trees around. I'm gonna stick you! See, the thing is, if we do attack them, they'll get involved straight away, and that, that, that'll be it. I think it might be better to go up to that fort, get free upkeep for those three, and only bring them out if Dorlingvar gets get sieged. Which I don't think it will, so... 
And Darao Goal is now only a few turns away from there. But as I say, I will end the episode there. So I apologise that it's just been another preparation episode. There's always one of these every now and then. But uh, hopefully you've learned a few things about 1.2, the future of 1.2 and beyond. And I hope you've enjoyed it. So until we speak again, dear friends, Navar Naden Pedimad Melunin, and farewell.